Ladies and gentlemen, we watched this week as Americans left the field after 20 years. My son served there, um, and thank God he came home. But we all know also that there were 13 members that didn't come home as of this last week, on top of what was already over 2,000 lives that had been lost there. But if you ask each one of the veterans who have served, what is one of the things we never, ever do? We never leave our Americans behind. That's right. And we've left Americans behind. It, even to the point that here today we wanted to say, in what we can do, which is, which is through legislation, as, a, as a, how Congress feels, that we want to make sure those Americans come home and the other issues that we're trying to deal with. Let me tell you this as well. Over the last few weeks, since the 13th, the uptick that has occurred on the veterans that are here that are concerned, that would love to do anything they could to get those people out, it is weighing on them heavily. We have seen an increase of 7% on the call-in for the hotline, for the suicide hotline for veterans. We saw a uptick of 40% on the chat text line and a doubling on the chat line. There's clearly veterans out there struggling here at home as well. Now I want to make sure that you know and everyone here knows and understands that the veterans themselves should not feel that their service was in vain. What they did was they protected this nation and they protected this nation for 20 years from any terrorist attack. But it is vitally important that if you have a loved one who is a veteran or a friend that is a veteran, that if they are in need, that they should call the hotline at 1-800-273-8255 or text 838-255. We want to be there. We want to serve them. But we also want to get our American citizens out of Afghanistan and do it as quickly as possible.